of the International Secret Police. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Speed, Clint, and Barney have had plenty of excitement since landing in Hong Kong on the trail of the octopus and his criminal gang, but they are not the only ones entangled in his tentacles. Marsha Winfield has been kidnapped by the octopus because she knew too much about his band and has been smuggled aboard a flower boat that is slowly traveling up the Siang River to Hong Chau. Clint and Barney fly after the boat in the bullet monoplane in the hope that they can rescue the girl, but right after their takeoff, Speed on the dock with Dr. Kingsley and little Jean... Notices another plane pursuing his uncle. Recognizing it to be another octopus plane, Speed hurries to the doctor's home in order to warn Barney and his uncle. We find him at the set now, trying to get through the airwaves. KVNC calling OC-34. KVNC calling OC-34. Come in, Clint. Why doesn't Clint answer, Speed? He's probably too busy watching the riverboats to answer right away, Gene. Well, do you think he has his set open to receive anything, Speed? Oh, yes, sir. And maybe they've noticed that octopus pursuit plane, too. But I'm not taking any chances. OC-34, replying to KVMC. OC-34, replying to KVMC. Oh, goody. What's up, Speed? Standing by. He's talking. Shh, Gene. Are you ready for two-way conversation, Clint? Yes, Speed. Then listen. Right after you and Barney took off, another plane came up out of nowhere, and last we saw of it, it was following you. Following us? Yeah. Haven't you seen it? Well, Barney and I haven't been watching anything but the river and the sky ahead, Speed. Now, uh, wait a minute. I'll take a look. Now that he stopped talking long enough to take a look, maybe I'll have a chance, huh, kid? Hello, Barney. Have you seen anything of the flower boat yet? Nothing but sampans and junk so far, but we're keeping our eyes peeled. Hold on, just Clint. Can't see a sign of another plane speed. We've run into a broken overcast up here over the river. The other plane is probably above the clouds, while we're fairly low over the river. Uh, in that case, what do we got to worry about? The sure won't fly into us. You've got plenty to worry about, Barney. That pursuit plane is an octopus ship. Yeah, huh? What's that, Speed? What makes you think that? It's exactly the same kind of a plane as you're in, Clint. And it looked awful suspicious, following you that way right after you took off. Yes, well, while you've been talking, I've been keeping an eye cocked for it. But I haven't seen the thing yet. Maybe it's just a private plane out for a spin. And again, maybe not. Anyway, we'll keep watch, Speed. And thanks for the warning. And then us know the minute anything should happen, will you, Clint? I'll stay right by the set here. All right, Speed. So long, kid. OC-34, signing off. Gee, I don't like that plane business. Do you think the octopus would have more than one plane? Gee, he's got everything. That's why he's so hard to fight. Why did he have to kidnap Marsha? I thought fighting was only done by men. Say, that octopus guy don't recognize any rules, Gene. He fights anybody or anything that might stop him from getting what he wanted. And Marsha had the onion skin map her brother sent her. Uh, Clint gave me his copy of it to study while he's gone. Oh, he did? Well, I wondered... He didn't give it to me, and I know he wouldn't leave it in a room at the Golden Lotus Hotel. Speed, supposing Clint and Barney have to land. Where will they land if the Siang River's too full of boats? They don't have to land on water, Jean. That plane has landing wheels, too. But Barney hasn't used them, so he hasn't let them down. No reason for him in the water. Doggone, I sure wish I was with them fellas now. Seen anything of that other crate, Clint? No, and we're not likely to unless he drops down. That overcast is getting pretty solid. Might run into rain. Should have brought our umbrellas. That's the trouble with these open planes. Get every bit of weather that comes along right in your face. You should have stayed at home with your knitting, Grandma. What do you mean, Grandma? Ain't I flown in every kind of weather they got without squawking? Sure. What are you kicking out for? Oh, it's unnecessary. That's why going to be hard enough finding that flower boat that's carrying Marsha without getting a lot of rain in the face. Rain in the face. Sounds like an Indian. <laughs> hey, don't you think that's funny? I don't think anything's funny right now. Least of all you, Barney. We got a tough job to do. 
We have another octopus plane on our tail. We may not even get to do it. So cut out the clowning. I'm as worried about Marsha as you are, Clint. And just to set on finding her. What if we have got an octopus plane on our tail? Why not, clown? Here today and gone tomorrow. That's me. <laughs> you flatter yourself. You think you're here today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're all right, you old cloud jumper. Don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> what? You don't know... Say, I wish the gang could hear you say that. First time you ever broke down and admitted that. Hey, 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 look below. Ain't that a flower boat? Huh? Yes, it is. Hey, lose more altitude, Bonnie. I want to take a good look. Don't worry, you'll get one. If I get any lower, I'll land on her deck. At least that'll be the general idea, and there'll be plenty of flowers for our funeral. Well, it looks innocent enough. Now let's climb as high as we can before getting into that overcast and see if we can spot any other flower boats up ahead. If we can't, then we'll land and search this one. Okay, but that ceiling's pretty low, I think. Hey! Hey, you don't have to go straight up! Who's flying this ship? We can't get much higher without going into the overcast, Clint. Look, our prop is getting tangled up in clouds already. Okay. Level off the side slip for a quick landing then, Bonnie. Can you make a river landing? Yeah, she's all clear ahead of that draw boat, and that's where we'll land, so she'll have to stop. Hey, hey, hold on. Level off, Bonnie. There's that pursuit plane. Sure enough. He dropped down behind us while we was eyeing that river up ahead. What are the orders? Lose altitude and see what he does. That'll soon tell us whether he's following us. But no side slipping now. Now take it easy. Okay. He's over us now. Hey, there's something mounted on the rear cockpit. Could be a machine gun. It is a machine gun. He's just taking the cover off. Supper and wine doodles. Maybe war's been declared. We wouldn't know messing around in the air as much as we do. We're sure gonna know it in a minute. Hey, hey, Barney. He's nosing down. He's coming right for us. He is? That loop of yours saved us. Yeah, but not for long. Look at that fella skid so he can get around and hike him after. If he wants to play, I'm going to get up through that overcast so we'll have plenty of room to play in. If we only had a machine gun, there's a carriage here for it, all right. Yeah, but we can't shoot the carriage. How's our playful friend doing? He's coming right after us. But he's not gaining. The ship isn't any faster than ours. That's one thing to be thankful for. Better get your gun out, though, Clint. Might be able to do a little good with it. I might. I don't want to get that close if we can help it. That hail of machine gun bullets can't do us any good. Yeah, what we need is a cannon. Up, here we go into the overcast. And come out looking, too. No telling where that other plane will pop up. Hey, how much gas we got? Started out with plenty, but I don't know if those bullets punctured any of the tanks or not. Well, we'll soon find out. Oh, I get into a dogfight with no gas. Either that or establish a new altitude record with no gas. We were sapped to tackle this flight alone, anyhow. Oh, not necessarily. Just bad breaks, Barney. There's no use crabbing. We're going to have to figure a way out of this. A way to get back to that flower boat. We probably won't have to figure much. Just enough lead bullets and we'll make the quickest landing you ever saw. Hey. Hey, the overcast is lightening up. We're breaking through. Yeah. Boy, it's bright after those clouds, huh? Well, the sky's empty so far. Yeah, but not for long. I'm aiming my prop at the sun for a little while. And just in case we do make a force landing, I'll have plenty of altitude to play around it. Hey, hey, there's the other plane. Right on our tail. Boy, oh boy, I wish I could add about another hundred miles to our airspeed indicator. You think you ought to tell Speed what's happening over the radio telephone? No, there's no use worrying him. He'd go crazy if he knew the spot we're in. I'll wait and tell him after it's all over. Yeah, you tell him, if you're still able to talk. Gee, I sure wish we'd get some word from Clint and Barney. I hate to call them again and bother them. Yes, they'll, uh, they'll probably call you the moment they have anything important to tell us, Speed. 
octopus. That's the sound he always makes. The octopus? That's him, all right, Doctor. Yes, I am the octopus, Speed Gibson. Can you hear me, octopus? <laughs> Perfectly. But how did you come in? How can you hear me? I can do many things with my ultra-high frequency set that no one else understands. But aren't you more interested in your uncle just now? Clint, well, what do you know about him? I know that he and Barney are flying for their lives. Flying from my pursuit plane, which has a machine gun trained on them. Oh, you can't do anything to my uncle and Barney. Oh, can't I? At this moment, they are trying to fly away from my plane. But the bullets have already found their mark in the reserve gasoline tanks of the plane Barlow is flying. It won't be long until his other gasoline is gone, and then his motor will fail. Barney will still bring her to a landing. Oh, no. Because he'll lose airspeed by doing so. And then my flyer will drop down and the machine gun will end your uncle's uh, promising career. No, no. You can't do that. It is too late. I have done it. (laughs) What can we do? Oh, Speed, can't we help them? Can't you talk to Clint and Barney? I'm trying. KVMC calling OC34. Clint and Barney, come in. I've got to reach them. KVMC calling OC34. KVMC, call an OC34. 